at some point in our youth, we've all had the same dream. The ability to fly. Some realize this aspiration, challenging gravity, and bring us closer to that fantasy. On December the 23rd, 1995, at 10.30am, a Piper PA-24250 took off from Novino Airport, California, without following a flight plan, destined for Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Low clouds and poor weather conditions, including snow showers, made the journey treacherous. The pilot, with over 700 hours of flight time, planned a detour to Furnace Creek in Death Valley to deliver Christmas trees to friends before continuing on to the final destination. During the flight, there were no positive radar identifications or voice communications. Unfortunately, the aircraft. It won't be until June 27th, the following year, that the wreckage of the plane is discovered. The pilot, Laverne de Berg, was born October the 10th 1938 and lived in Shilkoot, California, where he had spent the last 18 years as a volunteer firefighter and fire chief at the Sierra Valley Fire District. He was known as a kind and generous man, even donating the land to build the fire station. Laverne had worked as a manager of a local quarry and was a member of the search and rescue team. Laverne was reported missing on Christmas Day. The official search lasted for eight days, but family and friends continued without success. It was not until a group of microwave technicians en route to an antennae site stumbled across the wreckage of the small aircraft. It is believed that Mr. de Berg collided with an outcropping of rock. The left wing had been severed and was a great distance from the main wreckage. It had all been consumed by fire post-crash, including the emergency locator beacon. Amongst the wreckage were the charred remnants of three Christmas trees, as well as human remains. Wow. There's debris scattered everywhere. Yeah, it goes clear down this wash. And over the other side. Yeah, that's... The wing was severed and is further down. Yeah, it's one thing hearing about them, but when you actually get up close and see these kind of sights, it's very... It's very somber because you think about it, we're, we're now standing in the exact spot that someone spent their last moment on Earth. And I think also the sad thing is that uh, although the main search party gave up looking, his family didn't. Yeah. And they continued looking and looking and looking. And it wasn't till June the following year that this was discovered mm -hmm. by two um, people that were servicing one of the beacons up here. Right, which is another 
one of those things where it's kind of like you you picture it in your head because of the technology and stuff we have today that whoa wouldn't somebody have seen the smoke or heard something well or, that's but, what i well i mean we're right out in the middle of death valley yeah so maybe not heard something but i would have thought billowing smoke right would well, have been seen yeah like so we knew do know the weather was um wasn't optimal that no morning. it was a uh, low cloud low visibility and snow showers right and they never discovered the black box the flight box yeah Oops. i mean like we said the try to be kind of sensitive but the the impact like we said the debris field is is enormous and plus the winds that have come through the heavy rainstorms and flooding and you know the debris and these rocks they look solid in place but when you step on them they move so it's only these things could be just absolutely buried and lost for mm -hmm. a good long time well anything like this is such a tragedy and maybe this might sound maybe this isn't the right thing to say but the one thing that I would like to think if this was especially a relative or somebody that I knew that one they were doing something they died doing something that they loved mm -hmm. but also the impact would have been so dramatic that they really wouldn't have known anything so they wouldn't have suffered yeah I think that's the thing that we always hope for in our final moment or those that we love that it uh it happens quick and there is no suffering and when they did discover this first of all they did find the remains of three christmas trees yeah. or christmas tree like um trees which is another thing in itself he was he was doing a wonderful deed for some families yeah but unfortunately there was no flight plan which was why they found it so difficult to locate it. Yeah. Or why they didn't lo locate it. They uh, were searching around the Beatty area. His family and friends have placed a memorial at the crash site to commemorate his life. Our thoughts are with them as we pay our respects to Laverne de Berg, a man who lost his life tragically, but lived it with purpose. His last task on this earth was a kind deed unfortunately he wasn't able to complete it <laughs>